just running here and there, confused. What is really happening? I saw helicopters flying in the air, flying in the air. Please subscribe, share, like. If you want more videos, please hit the notification button. Love you all. Thank you. Testimony of Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. People of God, my name is Apostle Peter John Gabriel. This is my revelation I had about the school Lagos, Nigeria. In my dream, I saw a very large crowd in front of the school Very, very large. People were just running here and there, here and there, just at the front of the school at the entrance of the school in the front. People were just running here and there, confused. What is really happening? I saw helicopters flying in the air, flying in the air, searching for what was really happening. Everybody knew that something was happening up, but they could not explain what was really happening because they were all down. I was also there as well. Now, before I knew it, I saw a very mighty force, a very powerful force that came and took me from the ground. And then as I am moving, I was suspended in the air. And then I got to the same level of the top of the building. Now, at the top, if you are familiar with the square, at the top, where uh, the, it is written, Snow Church of All Nations, with the hack. So at that point, now, I got there, when I was at that same level, I saw four angels. And I looked closely. What were they doing there? And the angels were there on white, burning incense, incense, heavenly incense, burning heavenly incense. Everywhere was filled with thick, thick white cloud. The glory there was so marvelous. It was so wonderful. It cannot be explained. I was wondering, I said, what was really happening? What was happening? It kept me amazed. I was so, so amazed. And then the angels gave me a sign. They said to me, keep quiet. Don't tell anybody. Don't say anything. And then down again, the same force that took me up also brought me down gradually. And then I got to the, to the floor gradually. I saw the crowd still worried. We were worried. Now, at this point in time, I noticed that something was really happening. Why would the angels be there? Burning incense up there, and the people down are worried, are perplexed. And then, before I know it again, the angels came again. I mean, the force came again. The force took me again. And then, I went up again the same level. People of God, behold. The angels I saw at the beginning was four. Now they have become 21 angels. They were all at their own point like that, on that same platform. And nobody, nobody could see them. In that revelation, I was given the grace to see them. 21. They were born in incense. The glory was so marvelous. It was so marvelous. It was so wonderful. It dawned on me that this is heaven. And he kept giving me a sign, don't tell anybody. By giving me a sign like this, keep quiet, keep quiet. And then I was brought down again for the second time. When I came down, I saw the crowd still worried. And before I knew it, I saw Prophet Joshua appeared. And he asked me, what was happening there? And I told him, sir, sir, I saw a very large number of angels, 21 in number. They were there, burning incense. That was why I woke up from the revelation. So now, in the physical, I went to Batui Joshua and I told him the revelation I had about the 21 angels I saw. 
after telling him, he kept quiet. And he told me to come again for a second time and tell him. And I told him, he confirmed it. And the glory of God will be revealed in this Quran. This was what I saw before Prophet Bisha passed on to glory. I knew that the glory of God would be revealed in Squan. What has happened to Squan is just a test. The glory of God will be revealed in Squan in a very mighty way. People will see the hand of God in Squan. Squan is a place of God. Squan is a place of God. I thank God for this revelation. God prompted me to come out and share this revelation to encourage you right now listening. Thank you for listening and God bless you.